if I don't get these people back in in a couple weeks, HUD doesn't pay their rent for me. HUD cuts my contract off at this point because the units are non-livable. So all the money everybody thinks I seem to receive here is not true. And I can't prorate their rent because the money is not my money. I get a 3% management fee for doing all this that pays my staff. It doesn't really profit us a lot at this point. I need somebody with some power because nobody really seems to care about me as the owner. I care about the tenants getting back in their place and our finding residents. I've called every other HUD property out here. There's no availability. So I've got at least eight people that are displaced that need new housing. They got $500 from Red Cross and we do appreciate that very much, but the money's ran out. They're out of town in the hotels. I have no place for them. And until I put the doors back on, I can't even let them back in. And uh, I'm really disappointed that that woman passed away. She was in this position where she's in a chair above. She couldn't crawl under the smoke like you're supposed to. And her son was trying to get her out as fast as he could. And he's doing better from what I hear. But uh, no part of me wanted to hear that. And the families made some statements that were untrue. I've offered them to see everything here. I have nothing to hide. My building is in compliance. There's nobody saying that it's not. The fire marshal and everybody that's here agrees that it's not something that the building or the owner has caused here. But you know, I can't prevent somebody from starting a fire in their unit. I can just try to rebuild after they destroy it.